What is up, NASCAR Diecast fans? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome everybody to another NASCAR Authentics Diecast review on Corey LaJoy's 2023 Team Nagoo Chevrolet Camaro for the NASCAR Cup Series and good old Spire Motorsports. And I probably have picked the best time to probably finally review this car from NASCAR Authentics 2023 Wave 9. And you guys already can tell I'm not a huge fan of the packaging design, but uh, yay, this is probably one of the last 23 cars I got to review under my sleeve or who knows what's going to be at your uh, Walmarts and Targets, but I know Wave 9 is stock is pretty loaded in uh, my Targets around the Orlando area. But here is the rest of the wave. If you guys want to see that, the Lipco Chase piece, go ahead and try to find that, and all the copyright stuff. But now let's go on to the diecast review and the official unboxing of this new goo driver driven by Corey LaJoy. And alrighty, folks, we got this diecast out of its box. And of course, like every NASCAR Authentics diecast from now on from 2024 and onward of wave seven of 2023, we no longer have trinkets. I just thought I would say that because there are going to be some new people out there who are going to be like, hey, didn't these cars used to have trinkets? Well, that's the reason why we have the $5 uh, quote unquote quality that we still have. But luckily, in this case, we don't have any blurry decals and no PTC molds. So, and we've got the color rims, which is a really nice touch. That's something that I honestly would not expect in a $5 NASCAR Authentics car. I mean, I thought that was actually what you will usually get. Um, if Lionel really wanted to cut corners, they could just down and paint that all black. But uh, <laughs> getting back to this car, man, I've waited a long time probably to finally review this car. But, you know, I'm kind of glad I did because I'm um, hoping you guys are uh, going to be, I guess you could say, quite encouraged to get this die cast um, for your guys' collections. Since, I mean, this ain't the first time we've had a Corey LaJoy car. But this is definitely not the first time I have a car that has a working suspension. Oh, Lord. It's just remind me of those days I had the Daniel Schwartz Trackhouse test car. Remember that? But, yeah. I mean, for $5, I got to admit, even though this car has no springs, uh, I mean, heck, that's... <laughs> I mean, hell, that right there is one bouncy SOB. But since we got distracted with that little bouncy wouncy in the background... Um, yeah, looking at this paint scheme, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably wondering what in the living H is Team Nagoo. Well, if you guys can see, it is an acronym for Never Ever Give Up. Uh, this car has a really good cause behind it, guys. I mean, uh, the Team Nagoo car, I will I will admit, I was one of those people that said, what the heck is that? I mean, for a second, thought, I thought it looked like, okay, when I saw this paint scheme, I didn't read closer to this. This is how derpy I am, guys. I literally thought that this was like on a, like a splash park, uh, like theme, uh, like a splash mountain park ride or something. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like something like that, <laughs> you know? Um, but now nah, it's supposed to, uh, team to goo. I mean, it's a really cool cause, which I think a lot of you guys have probably seen this car already. Um, if you guys were at some of the 2023 NASCAR cup series races, I mean, um, I think I remember it actually, uh, <laughs> to feed into the topic about why I'm reviewing this car. Not only it's a cool looking, uh, quality die cast that we got from Lionel racing, but um see the decals are nice and clear and all that stuff which is really cool get the yellow number seven on top i guess you could say this die cast will be quite respectful and we do got some celsius logos right here which is pretty quite concerning because this is actually uh more importantly a kid-friendly car but you know i'm glad that lionel doesn't really censor that out because heck just a tiny uh, little celsius logo because heck i mean the whole story behind that is that energy drinks can't be uh the sponsors can't be on the 164s but I guess they let that slide. We've seen that many times with some monster logos before. But the reason why I kind of am showing you guys this Team Nagoo car is that not only it looks like a pretty uh, cool looking diecast to get, including our good buddies at Circle B Diecast, but um, there's also a QR code right there. I wonder if you guys can actually uh, donate and scan right there to help uh, children fight cancer, which is really cool. But speaking of fighting, yeah, you guys probably have already heard the story about Corey LaJoy and Kyle Busch at Pocono. All I can say is what my thoughts are as well. That's probably what I can say about my thoughts. I mean, that logo is a little crooked. And of course, we don't have any quality issues uh, when it comes to Lionel, but it does have to go with the paint. We do got some paint chipping right there and some uh, uh, some boiling up right there. I mean, well, paint bubbles, but you know what I mean? But yeah, would you be surprised that Corey LaJoy and Kyle Busch, this ain't the first time we've seen these two guys actually, I guess you could say, go at it. I mean, I think I remember uh, these two actually had a little altercation at Martinsville uh, from last year at the spring race. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so very, very appropriate of me to bring this diecast up because the next diecast I'm about to show you, which usually I don't really have a car to compare this to, but for the shits and giggles, let's go and bring back an old friend, well, I guess we could say a foe of the built car from uh, from two years ago. And you guys already know I've done a rant diecast review on this car considering, well, you guys can already see what that means. NASCAR Cup Series, that says NASCAR, what do you think it's called? I can't see shit, looks like hieroglyphics. <laughs> yeah, that. But 
It's the only time we actually have a Core of the Joe card that almost looks pretty similar. But of course, one is a lot more better quality compared to the other. So you guys already know my thoughts and opinions. If you guys want some more entertaining rants like I just like I just did with that Cup Series logo, probably recommend you checking out the rant review of this because heck, definitely that that was that was definitely a new one to review in the books for sure. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll get more into the rant reviews soon for you guys since I think we all need one uh, with all the craziness that's going on in this world. But uh, yeah. Uh, and a lot of people are going to be like, well, these are probably the only two Core of the Joy diecasts you can get in NASCAR Authentics. Yes, for Spire. But I think I, we, all, we also remember we had some Go Fast Racing cars that came out too. So if you guys are lucky to find the Scooby-Doo car from 2019 and also his uh, throwback crunch car as well, um, that would be a nice one too. But you know what? This paint scheme is pretty cool. But you know what it kind of reminds me of as I got this thing up on the air like a uh, diecast buffet video. So here we go. <laughs> This paint scheme, call me crazy. People are going to be like, Brian, you are smoking whatever the hell, you know, uh, that, I mean, it, 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 see, Nigu, I thought it would be like, I don't know, <laughs> sounds like, I don't know, it sounds like an Ethiopian drug or something, but <laughs> sorry. All right, a little dark joke right there, but um, yeah, I, I really do think that this paint scheme almost looks similar to Jimmy Johnson's uh, 2006 uh, SeaWorld car, just a little bit. Now, I would say this paint scheme is cool now, but I'm not going to show what this random blue is on top, and the yellow number kind of gives it away. That's why I kind of think of it as SeaWorld. But, you know, the paint scheme is almost perfect. I think it looks pretty cool here. It's a little busy on top. I mean, I understand they were trying to go with three different colors, but uh, you guys can tell me what you guys think about that in the comments section below. As, uh, well, we got Corey LaJoy literally just... Uh, so how about that guys i guess i had to showcase my uh luckily these things aren't chip proof so <laughs> but um heck this thing definitely has a lot of gloss on it so uh hey but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this uh, nascar authentics diecast review of the Corey lajoy team nagu chevrolet camaro for the nascar cup series and spire motorsports come on, subscribe to the spin obb the diecast news guy and for the love of fuck just keep your diecast at your own hands people <laughs> don't be like this guy have a good one y'all